It's close to the finish line for construction on Kaiser Permanente's brand new medical office in San Mateo, a 64,000 square foot state-of-the-art building located at the gateway to the city. The three-story medical office is a satellite of Kaiser Permanente's Redwood City Hospital, and it is electronically connected not only to the Redwood City Hospital, but to Kaiser Permanente's entire Northern California region. Kaiser Permanente is widely recognized as a national leader in healthcare quality and prevention, as well as for providing coordinated and technologically advanced healthcare to its 3.2 million members in Northern California. I'm Kevin Mullen, and to talk more about the new Kaiser Permanente San Mateo Medical Office is Dr. Srinivas Ganesh. Dr. Ganesh works in orthopedics, sports medicine, and family medicine, and he is the physician in charge of the new Kaiser Medical Office in San Mateo. Welcome, Dr. Ganesh. What can you tell us about this new medical center, and when will it open? Thank you, Kevin, for having me on your program. We at Kaiser Permanente are very excited about our new medical office building that's scheduled to open on August 15th of this year. Our new medical office building is going to feature state-of-the-art technology as well as our integrated model of healthcare delivery. Our facility will have over 20 physicians specializing in the various fields of primary care to better serve our community in San Mateo. It is conveniently located just off of Hillsdale Boulevard across from the police station and offers ease of access via other alternative commuting means such as Caltrain. Very good. So why has Kaiser Permanente chosen the city of San Mateo to locate this new facility? That's a good question. Really, it's in response to our members. Over 40,000 of our members actually live closer to the San Mateo facility than to Redwood City. So it's an offer of convenience to them. So what services can your members expect at this new San Mateo medical facility? Sure. Our facility will have primary care physicians working side by side from four disciplines one, family medicine, two, internal medicine, three, pediatrics, as well as OBGYN, or obstetrics and gynecology. They'll be working side by side to better offer convenience to our patients in San Mateo. When you see a family medicine doctor, for instance, that's someone who can see you from birth through all stages of life. If you want a different alternative, you can maintain your health care through seeing an internist, a pediatrician, and OBGYN doctor. On our first floor, we're going to have ancillary care services, and those are in support of our physicians and our patients' needs. That includes pharmacy, a blood draw. You, we also have digital x-ray and mammography, optical sales, and optometry services. What can you tell me about your colleagues, the physicians that will be working in San Mateo? The diversity of our San Mateo community is, is one of the strengths, I think, for our, our peninsula. Our physicians represent many walks of life as well. Many of them speak more than one language. In fact, uh, several of them speak Chinese languages as well as Spanish. And that better allows us to offer culturally sensitive, personalized care for our members. You've be begun to describe this integrated healthcare delivery model. How does this work in practice? Right. Our integrated model really relies on our electronic medical record, uh, which is one of the most sophisticated that's around. We've been using that to make sure that your care as a member is seamless, regardless of whether you're being seen in outpatient clinics or inpatient, whether it's a primary care doctor or a specialist. For example, recently I had a patient who fractured his toe and was seen at a different facility. He came to see me in follow-up, and it was a great uh, convenience for me to be able to go on the electronic medical record, see who he saw, look at what the notes stated, as well as pull up his x-rays. Therefore, I saved him unnecessary costs, did not have to reorder unnecessary imaging, and he got a better service, and it was a lot better experience overall. You've also been talking about the use of advanced technology, which is very important for Kaiser. Can you give us some examples of how the use of this technology is benefiting your members and the delivery of their health care? Sure. Uh, the, the technologies we have, we can put them into two buckets. One is information storage and sharing, and the other being advanced technology in the devices that we use. From the information storage and sharing, that's really through our electronic medical record, which our patients have also access to. They can see what their most recent lab results were, um, re ask for refills on their medications. They can request uh, appointments with their doctors, as well as secure message them. And this is at no additional cost to our members. 
From the device standpoint, we have digital x-ray and mammography. Gone are the days that you get an x-ray and then you gotta lug these uh, plastic films to your doctor's office. This allows us to not only provide easier care, but the images that we get these days are such high resolution, we can actually see more than we've seen in the past. That gives better care to our patients. So let me ask you if you could further describe for us the use of the latest digital devices and Telederm technology. Yes, one of our new features is Telederm. And what that is, is say that you have a skin lesion that you want to have checked out. You go see your doctor, and we're not sure whether some further workup is needed. We can take a high definition video shot of it, take a picture, send it real time to our dermatologist who is stationed in Redwood City. They can then, within the time of your visit, come back with a diagnosis and treatment strategy. So by the time the patient is finished seeing their doctor, they already know what needs to be done next. So back to the facility itself, what are some of the features of this new building? Yes, the new building is one that we've really taken into account environmentally being conscious. One of the things is that uh, much of the building has been built using recycled materials. When you walk through the building, the lighting system is actually automated, so it, it, it's motion detecting sensitive. The roof itself has a uh, uh, a top that is reflective so that it reflects the heat, therefore the rooms don't get warmer. In fact, in fact, the outside structure is set up so that no direct sunlight is really going through the uh, exam rooms and offices during the day. So we actually have some video of this new building. Doctor, uh, walk us through this. What are we looking at here? Uh, down on the first floor here, we're seeing our pharmacy and our optical sales and optometry services. Uh, we've used a lot of natural light through the windows, uh, which are the, the height of the first floor. And on the third floor, we have areas for the children uh, that can come and visit. There are some toys and, and, and seating areas for them as well as for the adults. The outside landscaping has uh, trees and, and foliage that uh, is, is from the sanitary area and therefore requires less water and therefore is less drain on uh, the environmental resources of our area. Doctor, while we have you here, is there any other local Kaiser Permanente news you'd like to share with us? Indeed, Kevin. As we're excited about the new medical office building opening up in San Mateo on August 15th, we're also very excited to inform the public uh, that construction is underway with our new Redwood City Medical Center. The new structure is going to replace our old hospital, and it's going to be seven stories high, offer 149 beds, most of them which are private. Some of those that are not private are for, for our pediatric population, which uh, tends to get better sometimes when they're interacting with some of their own. Dr. Ganesh, thank you very much for joining us today. Our guest today has been Dr. Srinivas Ganesh, the new physician in charge of the new Kaiser Permanente San Mateo Medical Office, opening August 15th. Thank you for watching.